I'm Ray Thompson. I'm Head of Business Development for Siemens Wind Power in the UK. Siemens is obviously a, a leading provider of offshore um, turbines in the UK, but we're also involved in the energy transmission, the grid business, and also the service business for our installed fleet. So when we talk about UK supply chain, it's actually for me two very distinct areas. The first is the uh, spend that we have in the UK in support of executing the projects. We've built a number of wind farm projects in the UK. And obviously there's a big kind of geographic advantage from buying services and, and goods for those farms. So typically we'll be executing those projects out of a UK port. So using port facilities, labour, vessels, fuel bunkering and a whole range of other services beyond that that link to the actual execution, the building of the wind farm projects. Um, the second kind of separate supply chain is the um, perhaps a slightly longer term view of supplying components into the turbines themselves and making components and, and like other companies we've been looking for a long time at the prospect of manufacturing some of those components in the UK. UK manufacturers are winning, winning business. Um, as I say, it's largely around the service side at present. I think looking forward, the, the obvious thing is that the wind industry is very much driven by reducing the cost of energy from wind turbines. It's a big political and social issue, and, and wind will only survive, to be honest, if we really take that cost down. So there's a big cost driver. Now, coming to the UK makes a lot of sense for some of the things that we do. Some of the very large components, for example, the, the towers that the turbines sit on, have huge transport and logistics costs bringing those components in from overseas. So there should be a natural advantage for the UK to make those components near to where the farms are going to be assembled and that should bring a, a cost competitive advantage and a reduction in the cost of energy. As for suppliers, of course, we're, we're like any other business, we look for quality cost delivery um, in, our, in, the, in the suppliers that we use. And of course the risk from suppliers comes through to our business and ultimately to our clients. So we look for reliable suppliers. But there are a lot of opportunities for UK manufacturers going forward. And obviously the GROW project is one of the things that we're using to engage with that supply chain base in the UK. And we see a lot of strengths there. Um, it's true we start from a low point because of course there's been no traditional manufacturing of the turbines in the UK. Um, but like all of the companies I think we're looking very uh, very seriously at growing that in the best way we can and getting more value back for the UK um, from the local supply chain. Good engagement with the, with the manufacturers is, um, is, is the key. One of the things that's actually very hard for the supply chain is working out who the actual client is. Um, it sounds like an obvious thing, but um, th there are many layers, many tiers of that supply chain. So if you're, for example, making components um, that, that are connected with the towers or the, the equipment that goes on the seabed, it may not be us as the turbine manufacturer that's buying those components. It may not be the tower manufacturer. It might be an engineer working on behalf of the wind farm owner. So the, the supply chain can be quite complex, and, and the trick, I think, for UK suppliers is to navigate their way through that supply chain and really understand the market and who it is they're trying to sell to. And, and that can be a harder task than it sounds. We've been very involved with um, Grow Offshore Wind and its development um, through Renewable UK. Um, we think it's very important. I think the key for particularly the smaller companies for finding a way to access the very large companies like a Siemens. It can be quite daunting for a small company to really approach a company as large as a, a Siemens or some of those other big players. It can be very difficult to find a way in and a way of uh, kind of opening the door and getting their product or service to the right person inside. And I think the, the work that's grow, that Grow is doing is helping um, open that door. And I think all of the suppliers have demonstrated a real willingness to work with Grow and its advisors to try and ease those routes. Um, it's not easy by any respect, you know, the, the companies really need to bring something different, to be bringing some cost reduction or some innovation that, that's different from what's out there. It's by no means a case that just because they're a UK supplier they're going to get used. But there are opportunities there and there's some really good examples of small companies in the UK who found a way in and are now really doing a lot of very successful business in the offshore wind industry.